Timberwolves only had two playoff appearances in the past 18 years. The last time they went back-to-back -back, or made back-to-back -back playoff appearances was when they went seven in a row with Kevin Garnett and that group, 2004. So it's been 19 years since they had back-to-back -back playoff appearances. And that's going to end tonight that streak. Last year, they got knocked out in the first round in six games. They'll play Denver in the first round this year. Night call for a travel. I'll tell you, looking at that video, Alex Rodriguez, I'm making a call to Kevin Garnett. His number deserves to be hanging up in the Raptors. Come on home and let us celebrate your true greatness and what you've done in a T-Wolves unit. By the way, the T-Wolves have had gone not to the playoffs eight years in a row with that group. Both coaches have emptied the benches. It's quite the season for these Timberwolves. They had that blockbuster trade with Rudy Gobert. It didn't always work right away. Injuries are part of that. The big three hardly played together. Josh Minot, the rookie from Memphis. Getting his first taste of postseason with three minutes remaining. NBA playoffs begin tomorrow. Quadruple header game ones on ESPN, ABC, and the ESPN app. Nets and 76ers started off. Celtics and Hawks, Knicks and Cavs, and then the Warriors and Kings on ABC tomorrow night. You hit a crowd chanting, we want Denver. Be very careful of what you want wish for. <laughs> I tell you what, if I'm Chris Finch, the message is if we can bottle what we were able to do on both sides of the floor collectively, we can do anything. Agree. And Denver is coming off a disappointing last couple weeks of the regular season. They beat Denver twice, but that doesn't mean anything come playoff time. And this is what we said about Minnesota earlier. They beat Sacramento twice. They beat Denver twice. They beat Memphis twice. Actually, they beat Sacramento three times. But they also lost to a lot of bad teams. It just all season long, you didn't know what you were going to get from night to night from these Grizzlies. In the last two games, the case in point from these Timberwolves, that is. Rivers drives inside. Austin Rivers with a bucket. They are starting to celebrate here at the Target Center. What Timberwolf team will we see against Denver? We'll find out starting Sunday night. As important, what Nuggets team are we going to see? Nuggets, the number one seed in the West. for OKC. Such young talent on this team. Good competitive talent as Rivers lost the ball out of bounds. They keep talking about the future where they did something pretty special this year. 16 game improvement. They'll get Chet Holmgren back for next year. The number two pick in this year's draft. More first round picks and more experience for their terrific young roster. They're set up to be a dominant team in the next decade. They should be thinking championship in the next decade. They're that good, and the future's that bright. Uh, tonight belongs to Minnesota. Facing elimination after a disastrous finish on Tuesday night against the Lakers. After they lost two key players last Sunday, Gobert with the punch, suspended a game. Jane McDaniels with the punch of the wall, lost for the rest of the season. Also without Nas Reed, as you spoke of earlier. Well, they got great performances tonight from Towns, from Edwards, Gobert, Conley, Anderson. And then the, the new starter, Nikhil Alexander-Walker. And going forward, they played basically seven guys when the game was on the line today. Do they expand that rotation? If so... Who in the Denver series fits best? Or do they just say at McLaughlin a few minutes and then the seven guys that they played the majority of the minutes tonight? 
Ball deflected. A traveling violation called on Nathan Knight. Hildas Alexander took that, that inadvertent elbow to the face. Eye swelled up. Back to the locker room, but came out. Jang strolls in. The Oklahoma City, I understand it's going to be frustration tonight, but at some point, take a bow. Nobody thought you had a legitimate chance to have a successful season. This has been an outstanding year for them. Well, a standing ovation from the T-Bulls fans here at the Target Center. They were loud from the get-go. Great atmosphere tonight. And they were not disappointed with an absolutely dominant second half to send them on to the first round of the NBA playoffs. Towns big, 28 points, 11 rebounds, 3 assists, 3 block shots. So the playoff bracket is now complete. T-Wolves and Nuggets Sunday.